Hey everyone, this is the 9.5 inch um, single DIN CarPlay and Android um, touchscreen. But I'm gonna teach you how to, or yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to set it up. So volume down here, you can search for radio stations by just hitting that button and it will see the next available station. Once you find a station you like, you can press one of these presets and hold, and it'll program it, your presets. Volume, this mute, unmute is down here as well. Down here, brightness, you can dim it, and it'll turn off completely. So the radio's still on, but you just don't see anything. And press it again, it's brightness is back on. This is the radio portion. Let's see, this is the home button. So it shows the radio is on right here. This is Bluetooth and it's connected to my phone right now. This is music on your um, SD card. I don't have any music, so I can't really hit that, but I was able to set the time right here. This is, so this is the home button. This is the equalizer right here for the music. And usually most of the time I just hit, so I, I'm kind of lazy. I don't want to plug my phone in for CarPlay. So I just click over here. So it's connected to my phone already. This you can dial people and call or I just play music. So I click that. And basically it plays your, the last song you were playing. So this is set on Pandora. So you can control the volume playing music. So you can also control it from your phone as well. You can control the music from there. Volume up, volume down. So this is a better way to listen to music versus the CarPlay. When you listen to CarPlay, you, you don't have the the volume control. All right, so that is the Bluetooth. You can click, so let's go ahead and pause that. Settings, it doesn't really do anything right there. So let's go to movie. All right, so basically, you can play movies from your SD card and it connects through there. And this is, I think this is full screen. Yeah. So the screen is much larger now. It's still not completely full because you still have that bar up there. Then to get out of it, you just click that. All right, let's get out of it. So we'll click this back to original. I think ORI stands for original. So it's smaller screen. All right. And then you can go to Explorer. And this explores the, the SD card that we have. So, down here we have an SD card. It is a micro SD card. It's hard to reach. Let's see. So you make sure the pins are facing up. Yeah, let's go ahead and reinsert that. This is from my GoPro. So there's movies and a couple photos on there. Once you plug that in, it automatically jumps to the video. Go back to Explorer. So you click on movie, you should see a whole drop down list there of all the movie files you have on there. And you can go to photo. And this is The 
reaction time on this is kind of slow. So TF card, and these are photos. And up here, you can swipe left and right, and there's more options. So earlier, we went into Explorer, and that's where we found the photo earlier. Photo, movie, and no music. So you can see, so now it's working better. But go ahead and swipe. You go to Photos on top, and it'll, it'll play through your photos. It can shuffle through them. Um, shuffle through your different photos. You have different choices. Fade. Um, basically, it just goes... It's like a wallpaper, basically, that goes back and forth. And then up here, you have settings. This is what I have it set up on. is English, America, brightness, contrast, saturation, hue, left, right, output, Wallpaper, you can choose three different wallpapers. I have it set in the middle one. Audio settings. So that gives you that same equalizer that was up here. Steering control, I don't have any steering controls set up, so I don't know how that works. Or you can choose back to factory default. This is how you set the time. You go to time settings and just set the time to whatever it is and date as well. And DVR, we don't have anything plugged into DVR, so we don't wanna, well, here, I'll click it. Nothing shows up. But yeah, when, when nothing's plugged in, it just, well, this one kicked back. Auxiliary, let's see if anything happens. So I don't have a, any auxiliary hooked up to it. And then the last one is CML play. For this one, you can plug in a USB cord. So let's go ahead and plug one in right here. There, and then plug this into your phone. phone's plugged in so it's automatically connecting so this comes up right away and it's basically the map you can click on Pandora and have a list of this is what I have set up I don't know how your phone's set up but I have Pandora downloaded and you can control the music in here, but there's no volume control. Settings, this controls basically the, the settings in your phone. It doesn't really have anything to do with the system. Like even this wallpaper, it's just for the wallpaper when it's plugged in, that wallpaper back there. And so to exit out of this, I hit menu button. Goes back to the screen. We'll hit CML play. So from here, you can control the volume. For like earlier, we didn't have a Pandora volume. Let's go ahead and turn it up right there. Click back over there. So then it connects Apple CarPlay again. There you go. And now we should have volume. Click Pandora. There we go. So we have volume. And back, there's different radio stations. Go ahead and hit the menu button. Now this is back on radio right now, but I'm gonna show you something else. So we can do iPhone mirroring. So it's still plugged in. You hit iPhone mirroring, 
preparing to connect. And this is what I have right now. So it's still connecting. It wants to unlock your phone. And go ahead and I have a passcode so it unlocks. There. And then you get this pop-up. Trust this computer or don't trust. So if you want to connect to the mirroring, you have to hit the trust button. So we'll go ahead and hit the trust. And you have to put your um, password in again. There we go. So now you can see basically it mirrors whatever is on your phone. And from here you can basically control everything on here. Let's go to Pandora. We can play music this way. And hit this way, mirroring, you can't control that volume. So to change the volume again, hit the menu button, CML play. Then you can control the volume over here. There we go. Change the volume, hit this. iPhone mirroring. And basically, it makes you confirm again, trust this computer. Put in your passcode and mirrors again. I just changed the volume, so now it's louder. Go ahead and pause. And with this mirroring, it doesn't, you can't control anything on here. All it is is just copying your, your phone. So whatever you're playing on your phone will be on the screen right now. I don't know what this is. It looks like it's taking a screenshot, but I don't know. Here, let's see if these do anything. That goes, so that exits back to the screen and I believe that's everything um, you know about the reverse camera uh, basically I just take my card put it in reverse and then you can see the reverse camera it automatically turns on when you get out of reverse back into neutral so whenever your your reverse lights are on, it's um it's the camera is wired up to the reverse lights. So whenever the reverse lights light up, it switches this unit over to the rear camera. So like that, the lights are on right now. Reverse light. Take it out, and we'll, it automatically jumps back over here. So let's go ahead and normally when I get in the car. With, I don't like plugging my phone in, so I just go straight to this music. Make sure the music logo is right there and you can hit play. And it just plays whatever was last played on your phone. You can fast forward to the next song. And volume. So this way you can actually control the volume. So you don't have to mess with going into CarPlay, reversing out of it just to change the volume. And this is the better way that I found. You actually can control it as you go. Pause. And that's basically it. All right. Let me see. Make sure I went through everything. Yeah, I think that's it. Radio. So back to home. This is your memory music on your memory card. So if you have MP MP5s, MP4, MP3s or whatever, you can play it on there. But I don't have anything on there. So these are the main three buttons that you can use easily. And then GPS, I guess that's when you would use the CarPlay or the mirror function. But that covers basically everything that I've figured out on this unit. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, I missed a little section earlier, so I'm gonna show you how to pair, pair your Bluetooth up to this unit. So you click on Bluetooth, you'll see this. So nothing's paired right now to this unit. Click on the setting, you'll see pin code 0000. 
and that's the name. Device name is GBT Kirkit. You get your cell phone, turn off Bluetooth, turn it back on. Let's see if it finds it. There we go. Click on it, and it should ask for a pin code. Pin. So it's four zeros. And then you pair it. Allow contacts and favorites to sync. You can allow it or not, depending on your preference. But I'll, I'll go ahead and don't allow, because all I want to do is play music. And that's it. So now it shows connected, and you can play music over it, over the radio. All right.